Out of the vast and intricate group of reptiles known as varanids or the monitor lizards, there's one subgenus that has possibly the most breathtaking and eye-catching lizards in the world. It's called Hapterosaurus, otherwise known as the tree monitors. Coming in every color of the rainbow, many of these lizards are quite familiar. The most commonly known is the green tree monitor, or Varanus prasinus, the blue tree monitor, Varanus becrei, and the black tree monitor, Varanus becerei. There's one more varanid, the yellow tree monitor, Varanus resingeri, that is less known than the three that I've just mentioned, but still has decent notoriety, and I want to make a showcase just for the yellow tree itself. Aside from these four monitors, there are actually five more tree monitors that are hardly ever spoken about three of which that have almost been forgotten and cast to the side. So in today's video, we're actually going to be going over these five forgotten species of tree monitors. Before we start, remember, if you're not already subscribed, to go down there and hit that subscribe button, as well as to ding that notification bell so you never miss another upload. Also, remember to like this video and share it, and drop a comment and let me know if you learned anything at all. Let's go ahead and get into it. The first tree monitor on our list is the Biak tree monitor or Varanus cordensis. Hailing from the island of Biak of Indonesia, the Biak tree monitor has been described synonymously with Varanus prasinus, the green tree monitor, in the past, although they are a completely different species. Although they may have a similar appearance, the Biak tree monitor tends to have a more intense net-like black pattern on its back. The coloration may also be a more olive to yellow color although individuals with a blue hue have been observed in captivity. Like with other tree monitors, it seems like the type of lighting that they are kept with may affect their coloration. They can also be distinguished from green tree monitors by their scale patterning and the number of scales across the head and mid body. They're an extremely beautiful and rare lizard that stay on the smaller side for tree monitors. Again, like some of the other species of tree monitors, they have been known to eat fruit amongst their typical diet of nesting birds and other invertebrates. Going down the line, the next tree monitor on our list is even more rare than the biak. The gold spotted tree monitor, or Varanus boemii, native to Waigo Island, Indonesia. They are an absolutely fabulous looking reptile that sports gold flaking along its somber colored body. This monitor is named after legendary German herpetologist Wolfgang Bohm and grows just over 3 feet in length. It has some of the same qualities as other tree monitors, such as its prehensile tail, but it is rarely studied in the wild, and its range is fairly small. In addition, the terrain that it inhabits is hard to navigate, although it is quite beautiful. They're without a doubt the most uncommon tree monitor in captivity. And only a handful of people are actually working with them at this moment. Both the Biak and the Gold Spotted Tree Monitor are incredibly rare, both to see in the wild and in captivity. But they're still familiar to certain monitor enthusiasts and recognized fairly readily. The next monitor is one that is so elusive that it has only been observed in the wild a handful of times, and is only in select zoos within its native range. The Canopy Goanna, or Varanus keithorni, is known by many names. Canopy Goanna being the most common, but they're also known as the Keith Horns Monitor, the Blue Nose Tree Monitor, or the Nesbit River Monitor. These elusive monitors come from Northern Australia, but not just any area in Northern Australia. They're restricted to an area on the Cape York Peninsula of Queensland of less than 100 square kilometers within the Iron and McRaith ranges near the Claude and Nesbitt River. They have a similar pattern to the Gold Spotted Tree Monitor, although lacking a lot of the gold coloration, and are another small species, growing to only around 3 feet in length. Although it has a closer range to Varanus prasinus, Molecular data states that the canopy goanna is most closely related to the black tree monitor. Interestingly enough, even though they look completely different, the canopy goanna was once actually grouped in with the green tree monitor as the same species, 
So many dated sightings of green tree monitors in Australia were actually just misidentified canopy goannas. Class 2 tree monitors are so rare that they've only been documented and studied while dead. While there have been reported sightings as well as suspected photographs, to my knowledge, none of them have ever been confirmed to be identified correctly. These two lizards are known as Varanus bogerti, the Bogert's monitor, and Varanus telenicetus, the mysterious tree monitor, the actual name of this almost mythical lizard. The Bogert's monitor was named after American herpetologist Charles Mitchell Bogert. They can only be found on D'Entrecasto Island and Trioban Island of Papua New Guinea and prefer forests from altitudes at sea level to about 1300 feet up. Over the years, there have been many claims about how to describe the Bogert's monitor, and it was once classified as a melanistic subspecies of the green tree monitor. But visually, the Bogert's monitor is similar in appearance to the black tree monitor, but the number of scales and even the texture are enough to distinguish it as its own species. Deceased juveniles that were found, however, seem to have had a golden hue that glowed along the body of the reptile, but would fade with age. Regardless, the Bogert's monitor is hardly studied and hardly known about even by some of the biggest reptile enthusiasts and scientists. The mysterious tree monitor, or Varanus telenicetus, is perhaps one of the biggest mysteries in the entire monitor world. Often described as enigmatic and cryptic, the mysterious tree monitor was originally described from one deceased specimen on Russell Island in the Lewisade Archipelago of Papua New Guinea. It was later released that the monitor was not found there and was discovered on another unknown island. Originally described as a lizard with a dark green dorsal pattern and black nafes, the same specimen would later turn almost completely black, although it's unknown if that was because of something that happened post-mortem. When preserved in alcohol, the green tree monitor that were kept in the same facility began to fade in coloration as well. So it could possibly be that the mysterious tree monitor was a faded green tree monitor specimen. Or it could be its entirely own species. It could also potentially be a hybrid. These are all possibilities as almost no research has been done and no one can put a finger on just exactly what the mysterious tree monitor actually is. As no live specimen has ever been found. So for now, Varanus telenicetus, the mysterious tree monitor, will remain just that. A mystery. Although many of these tree monitors are not truly forgotten, they hardly have the notoriety of the big four that we discussed in the beginning. The last two, the Bogert's and Mysterious Tree Monitor, are hardly known by any at all. With the new year rolled in, will this finally be the year that we rediscover these elusive reptiles? Will the mystery finally be solved? Who knows, but I can assure you that as soon as that happens, I will be releasing a video on it. So make sure that you're tuned in and you don't miss that or any other videos. You can do that by hitting the subscribe button, as well as the notification bell clicked so you can be alerted when history is made. Be sure to like and share this video as well, and comment down below if you learned anything. That's all for today's video guys, I appreciate you guys stopping by, and I will see you in the next video.